All right, guys, we're going to be taking a quick look at the Golf Boy iPhone simulator. Now, this thing's free right now, and uh, you get a two-month subscription for free. So right now we're looking at the putting. So up in the, right, up in the top right-hand corner, you see a red 15-foot. So that's the distance that I'm going to be putting. We'll do a, a sample putt just so you can see what it does exactly. That one's 11 and a half feet. You can see the yellow dot, and it'll give you your club distance, or how, how your club face hit. And then in the bottom, you got your face angle, launch direction, club speed, ball speed, and movement distance, or move to distance. So the cool thing about this as well, is in the bottom left corner of the screen itself, right here, you can see where it says start report. So we're gonna hit that, and we're gonna hit five, we're gonna hit five. So 15 foot, we're gonna hit five golf balls at 15 foot. And we're gonna see what the report says at the end. Here we go. Over. All right. So the goal is to get your ball in that set and then get ready to putt. Boom, sank it. Oh, I was right at 15 foot. 0.6 degrees of launch. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can do that again. Too hard. I felt that one. Yep. All right. Let's try this again. And I'm just doing this in my living room. I I don't have I don't have any I don't have any target set up on the ground. I'm short at all. No target set on the ground whatsoever. I'm strictly using what the uh, app is telling me to do. So that one was 1.3 degrees of launch angle. Not great. So the, sometimes with my putter, because it has the, uh, the two little white half moons on there, the, uh, the app will read that as a ball, and it won't read the ball, actually, when I hit it. Boom. That was 0.5 degrees launch angle and a 0.2. That was a really good putt. I'm very happy with that putt. Let's do one more, just for fun. Yeah, see how it's trying to read my golf club and my putter as a ball? That one felt really good. Yeah, see, it didn't read it right there because it was reading my putter as a ball. So, like if you have an Odyssey putter, like a two ball or a single ball Odyssey, set your ball up on the back side of that circle. Give your uh, phone a better chance of not reading your putter as a ball. Oh, short by a lot. Going. Let's keep going. Sometimes you gotta move it for it to read. There you go. All right. Felt good. Ooh, short. Less than a foot. So yeah, the 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 target is 15 feet. The distance to cup is the distance you had for your second putt after this putt right here. So for example, I'll hit this one, and if it doesn't go in, it'll give me the distance to cup. Yeah, so that one is one foot 10 inches from the cup. Ooh, launch direction, not great. That one was, uh, face angle is three degrees. That was not very good. Not very good at all. All right, let's see if we can get one more. I got five balls left. Oof, almost two foot away. That was a really bad putt, 2.3 degrees of launch angle. 
way too hard. That's shooting. That's shooting off the green. Dang, that was not good. That was another bad putt. That one was good. Ten inches. All right, I got two left to sink. Got to sink one of these. That one felt good. Ooh, that launch angle screwed me. <sighs> Look at that. You can see it. My putter went whoop. Not very good. All right, let's see if we can get a nice straight putt. Nice straight putt. Felt good. Long. Dang. Well, let's see how many shots was that? That was 14 shots. So we go ahead and click the blue finish report. It'll give me all my distances. So launch direction gives you a little comment. It says good. One degree plus minus 1.2 degrees. I would say it's good, but not great. Face angle. So it actually gives you your arc of your face angle, which was one degree plus or minus 1.9 degrees. It's not great, but still pretty good. So average distance to the cup was one foot 10 inches with a plus or minus of one foot, one and a half feet. Move distance was 15.4 feet. Or sorry, 15 foot four inch was plus or minus um, two foot three inches. Ball speed average was 5.3 miles per hour, plus or minus half mile an hour. And then club head speed was three miles an hour, plus or minus 0.5 miles. And then, yeah, all this as well. So everything's going to stay the same on the right-hand side with the graphs, but the graph on the left side will tell you where all your shot play placements were, which is super cool. And then these were all the putts. Every single putt that you hit, from the bottom being the first one to the top being the last one. So, yeah, not not too, too bad. Um, this is a great app, and it does save. It, it, this is number three of the 12th of March. The other cool thing is you can click random. So, for example, let me gather up my golf balls. So, for example, you cannot do a report on this one as all of the, uh, the distances are different. But this is great practice to get pace. So a five foot putt. Boom. First putt made it. So what's this next one? 15 foot. All right. We just did a bunch of those. Let's see if I can get one. Felt pretty good. Short. Short. Not too bad. 20 footer. All right. A little bit distance. Twenty one nine. Dang it. Two foot away. But yeah, we'll hit one more at 30 foot. And again, these are all random, so you got to do real good at uh, trying to measure pace. Yeah, see, I didn't read that one because of my putter. Ooh, that was a really bad launch angle. Wow, that was a really bad launch angle. I was like, Ooh. I didn't feel like I twisted my wrist that much. Maybe that's something I gotta work on. 50 footer? All right, this is the last one. And I'll show you some more of the app. Yeah, my I'm only 40 foot. Oof, that was horrible. So, well, let's go check out the rest of the app real quick. So this is the main page when you open it up. So you got a form swing analysis. Uh, you do have a round simulator, and I'll get into that in just a second. You do have a shot analysis as well. Uh, I'm not sure what the pairing is. Uh, the course, the course creation—you actually get to create your own course. 
and then the putt was what we were just in. So we'll hit the round simulation because the swing and everything like that is going to be very similar to the putting, just going to be full swings. So you have all these different courses, right? So we'll just use golf boys. So um, I don't have a net or anything. I can't swing fully. However, these are the holes for this course. It's a nine hole course, right? You know, hole one's 409 yards, par four. Hole two's a 192 par three, all the way to nine, which is a 352 par four. And like I said, this app is called Golf Boy. It's free in the app store right now. Uh, I believe it's only for an iPhone right now, unfortunately. And if you download now, you will get a free two month subscription. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys uh, find the use in this that I did. My name's Ryan and you've watched Mr. Fizz Golf. And remember guys, keep practicing. We'll see you guys later.